good for to, for Squirtle to fight back a bit, throw out fairs to shut out the airspace that Mitch mm -hmm. is trying to cover. Um, maybe, yeah, or just use your speed as well to play around it rather than stay back and let Mitch walk all over you. So I'm, I think. The best bet for trainer is a lot of Squirtle, as it seems to usually be. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of Squirtle. I think certainly once we get into the offstage game, Ivy's are could be really good. Um, being that um, the one thing that really Pyro and Mithra are pretty exploitable for is their recovery isn't particularly good. Um, but one thing that Waidu is incredibly good at, regardless of what character he is playing, um, is the ledge trap game. Um, Waidu's reactions are kind of crazy, um, so I'm excited to see if that translates with Pyra and Mitha. Characters that don't necessarily have the fastest frame data, um, but can certainly make a lot of it with the correct guesses and the correct reactions at ledge. Yeah, and interestingly enough, um, switched right into Pyra at the start. Now back to Mitha, but I wonder if Waidu Try, I feel like most Pyro and Mithras like start with Mithra, then switch to Pyro to kill. Yeah. But it seems like Waidu's trying to mix it up. And that's and gonna be that's gonna be a quick kill. Yeah, yeah quick stock for Soul Sir. Um, and we'll see if um, you know Zach Waidu can respond here. Um, okay, puts them into the corner. We'll see. Okay, cool. so it's a hard read on Let's Drop, I guess. And uh, Waidu comes back and makes us an even game. Yeah, that F Smash covers so much it is so huge yeah i wonder if they sat on ledge would have hit their ledge hang mm -hmm. and that's why solcer opted for that but regardless kind of a bit of a deer in headlight situation yeah not a whole lot that could be done there certainly if it was a re-grab would have gotten hit um but the um oh, the thing about uh, pyramithra is that even though they are really good at getting those huge leads like that. Against faster characters like Squirtle, they can tend to struggle with getting them off of them. Their hitboxes are not great. Certainly you can make those guesses with those huge hitboxes that you have as Pyramithra. Um, but Judy and um, Solstar has been showing kind of how effective um, it's, it has been to kind of, um, just kind of stay on top of Waidu. I wonder if Waidu could have just up smashed from that dare. That yeah. could have been the stock for such a light character like Squirtle. Oh, dead. Ooh, Ooh not quite. Yeah. Already out of percent. Ooh, and that up air is outranging Pithra Dare. Yeah, and Solstar just getting off Charizard right away. There's really, I cannot imagine too many situations where you want to be on that character in a matchup like this. Yeah, and we're seeing once um, Waidu has uh, Solstar at ledge, we're seeing the switch to Pithra come out pretty often, and that's going to be a stock as well. Pretty similar situation to what we saw, saw that stock number one when it got both of them uh, got written up rid of only a 10% lead for Solcer and um, already why do starting off with a neutral win however looking good so far for Solcer with Squirtle Let's see if um, Solcer can get this big lead extension they managed to take all this like you're saying they managed to take all the stocks pretty handily so if the same story uh, folds Solcer will have this game and it's looking like it it's hard for Waidu to really get um, a good thing going because of how much Judy's moving around. It's that speed and Same killing. Percent? Yeah, with last time. F tilt into uh, jab lock. Yeah, so that is going to be two stocks gone from the F tilt into double jab, down smash, um, and that's going to be a solid uh, win for game number one for uh, Solcer. I wonder if we're going to see a character switch. I think the fact that we saw so many of those like kind of overwhelming situations for oh, we're not. Okay, um, for Pyramithra, but um, I think it would be interesting to see the Mii Brawler, uh, depending on how this game number um, th uh, two goes. Um, it kind of felt like Squirtle was just able to overwhelm Pyramithra, but we're going to see if Waidu has the adaptation uh, to get around that now. Oh, that is something that can definitely come into effect in a character that's going to throw out as many hitboxes as Squirtle. The, um, forget the name of the mechanic. Foresight. Foresight, yes. Once again, though, the Squirtle kind of on top of uh, Waidu, um, really not able, and doesn't really have those fast buttons to get off. Um, ooh, and, and, and Judy's done a very solid job of mixing up in the corner with that up B. Ooh, nice, down, down air and air. And using the Charizard for the first time this set, it is a character who um, has one thing they have going for them is the ability to take early stocks and yeah, against ooh. Pyra that would be really beneficial. And we saw right there the ability to do that um, with uh, down throw into a tech chase up smash. That's probably going to be it on the platform. Ooh, would have thought maybe, but maybe not. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's probably. Ooh, wow, rolled out. But catching Great. the jump right there. Uh, Soul Sword first stock with the up smash. Yeah, and these blazing edges have not been landing for Waidu yeah. at all. I think their uh, the percentage has been pretty bad of hit to miss. So it's it's. I think Waidu's got to switch up how they're playing Pyra. Mm -hmm. um, they're not. It, they have not been able to get those like lucky cheese stocks like they got the last two games. And with the Charizard, it's gonna be hard to kill super early. Ooh, but that fair, the solid ledge trapping coming out from Waidu, gonna take that first stock, and we're switching right back to Mithra. Now, I, one thing I do, okay, that was wonky Sivey, but it ended up working out. No, didn't get punished, he just has Solcer in the corner. Nice roll read by Solcer. Yeah, Solcer's reactions have been really good with Squirrel. They, they have been able to keep up the pressure super well, and I just don't think um, the Mithra has been doing quite the same, but this will be a pretty crucial spot to hold advantage. Yeah, I think one of the more difficult things uh, about, um, well, really for this, just this matchup between these two players in general for Waidu, has been the inability to keep Squirtle in disadvantage. Um, and a lot of missed techs as well from Waidu. Um, kind of being fairly costly against the Squirtle. The Squirtle has been certainly the MVP so far for Solcer. Ooh, and out frame two, or I think frame four jab on, on a Pyra um, is so good for um, ooh, down ooh. slash, but sour spot. That is a weak sour spot. Did you not? Oh, good swap. Nice swap there for sure for Soul Source. Saved uh, their life, but that back is going to be enough. This is the first real stock lead we've seen for Waidu so far. Yeah, and it seems like Solcer was starting this game super well, but I think yg has been starting to find what pockets they can get with both the characters. Like, they know when what they should be doing with Pyra now and what they should be doing with Mithra now, and using both of them to their strengths. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think certainly um, when it comes to both of these characters, um, really, in all honesty, the, the, the Charizard and the Ivysaur have not been able to do um, very much for Solcer. Um, the bo both characters outside of that one up smash from Charizard have kind of spent the entire time that they've been out in disadvantage, um, which is not unsurprising being how tough their disadvantage states are. However, um, right now that stock taken by Charizard up smash, um, we're going to need to see if um, this Charizard is going to be able to pull it out. I don't think Squirtle is going to be able to get it out fast enough for Solcer. Yeah, you got to be really careful in this Squirtle. Ooh, and the move enough. will kill just like that. And it's got it's rough because you started that game with the lead for Solcer, but really good adaptation from Waidu. Um, I think they started just, they were throwing out aerials and Squirtle was shutting it down the first game. But I think they're especially with the Pyra, they've been doing a lot more preemptive like um, fairs, big big moves that cover a lot of space. They've been doing it much more preemptively because they know how much um, Solcer likes to go in, and it's been much harder now for Solcer to really get those big strings going because. Once Solcer does get in, he's, he's good, but he just yeah. didn't get in at all those last two stocks. Yeah, I think certainly um, Wadi did an excellent job of utilizing the huge hitboxes that were at uh, his disposal with Pyramithra, um, and really started to take advantage and kind of, like you mentioned, use reads and guesses to kind of um, anticipate where Solcer was going to be and just putting those hitboxes there, and very often it was successful. And we're seeing that same matchup again. And on the same stage again. Yeah, it really there was nothing, um, there was nothing stage-wise that mm -hmm. was holding Solcer back. It was just a matter of getting adapted on. So, I think if they're able to be a bit, I think what I would do is stay in a bit or, more of a mid-range mm -hmm. as Squirtle and, and wait out uh, a, like a whiff punish or um, a bad landing from Waidu rather than try to just go in really quickly. Oh, we've seen so far that's worked out. Uh, it was a whiffed option from Waidu that got grabbed and put Solcer in an advantage state. However, oh, almost enough right there. Just barely um, too slow on that F smash. And that nice down smash to cover a lot, whole lot of area for Solcer. Now Solcer in advance state once more. Similar to what we were seeing in game number one with the positioning. That up air, super nice spacing by Solcer. And that's going to be twice over to get the stock. And let's hope Solcer can hold on to this because the first game especially, they got big big stock leads and then Waidu just brings it back with some Pyra stuff. So I actually like this Charizard switch because they want to just get as much percent as they can as mm -hmm. a heavy. They, they're not really looking for like a huge uh, big kill or anything. They want to hold the lead. And yeah, and, and that Charizard certainly has done well at, at that so far. Um, in disadvantage now though is Charizard. Um, Wider's gonna have to make some adaptations here. Already down by a full, like, 90%. Um, really not a situation you want to be in. 
as Pyramithra. That up air nearly doing it, almost enough. Yeah, I'm not sure I agree with that Mithra switch right there because there's just no world Mithra's killing Charizard at that low of a percent. So I think they're going to need some Pyra stuff quickly, but um, Solter seems to be playing around that. Um, Ooh, and those uppers have been so good um, for Solcer in the beginning part of this game. Um, and it continues to kind of ledge trap. Um, <laughs> nice. Well aware of the punish there for um, Whitey there. Um, however, this Squirtle has been so good. We're going to see if it can continue to kind of be as dominant as it has been in previous games. However, right now, this is a really strong start for Waidu. Already a solid 45%. Yeah, Waidu's going to need to turn this inch into a mile right here. Because if they can get this stock quickly, 77% is not too big of a deficit for Pyra and Mithra. Ooh, that downer is pretty big. Ooh, a risky up smash, though. I Ooh. think that could have been the game. Yeah, it could have maybe been an F smash. Back throw? Not going to be enough just yet, but Charizard's really good at edge guarding. And we've seen so, so far been so good at the ledge trap game with Charizard. Oh, that was a grab. Ooh. Oh, that's a stock. And you, you can't be given why I do that because now there's this is very possible with uh, Mithra's damage output mm -hmm. to get them in kill pos position for Pyra. Yeah, really, you only need to get them into one off stage situation, and then Pyra kind of can, if with one really good ledge trap, can keep um, can keep uh, Pokemon Center off the stage. But the up air is just enough. The tippy top of it, and that is going to be Solcer. That's an upset over Waidu. Yeah, Solcer was catching on to those jumps from ledge mm -hmm. a lot. I think they got the first stock that game from this, pretty much the same thing. Um, so good, good job on Solcer just keeping that adaptation going. They did. They um, definitely switched up how they played that game mm -hmm. three versus game two. So.